Hi, this is Max Verstappen, and you're listening to Speed City. You're listening to Speed City F1 on Sirius XM. Austria couldn't be more different. There are no straights. It's tight. It's twisty. Um, it, you know, uh, it's uh, absolute Verstappen home. They'll all be there in that big grandstand in orange. Um, it's, it's, it's at altitude. It, it's at altitude. It couldn't be a more different race uh, venue than we saw today. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts? Well, I think you, you need a very agile race car, which is why I asked Chris earlier whether he thought Mercedes could could follow up this great performance uh, today. Mm-hmm. Um, and I agreed that uh, the race that follows at Paul Ricard, the French Grand Prix, will be much more suited to uh, to Mercedes. Yeah. Uh, you're right, it is, it is uh, tight. Um, we saw guys last year get in trouble there, Carlos Sainz, Lando mm-hmm. Norris, you know, guys trying to elbow their way around some of these corners to make passes. And mm. sometimes guys wind up in the dirt. And that's just kind of the story of that track. Absolutely beautiful place. I'm sure it'll be roaring with fans. And um, but it's going to be, as you say, a very different animal from Silverstone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Hamilton, as he said, those Red Bulls in a straight line are missiles Uh Today, we saw it today. He yeah. won't worry about that mm-hmm. as much because there just isn't the time. There's that one straight from turn one up to the hill. Uh, that's yeah. about it. So that's going to bode well also for Mercedes. Yeah, we're yeah. Up watching. And the Ferraris, the Ferraris seem to get off the corners really well. So I think that's the 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 counterbalance to the Red Bull straight line speed is mm-hmm. the Ferraris get into and out of the corners faster than the Red Bulls do. So um, you know that could be a factor in the Austrian Grand Prix. All right. 